All right, so here I have a, uh, I've got Geekbench running, and I mean, we'll just go ahead and run it. Uh, I got the i7 version because it supports multi-threading, which is really important to me because it's kind of future-proof, I guess. So yeah, latest version of Mac OS X, um, close to Safari. I may as well close Steam also, we don't really need it. All right, so we'll just get this running. And obviously it might be a little bit slower just because I'm running my screen capture software for you guys. Um, but yeah, and then we'll, we'll open up Geekbench and we'll check out uh, my MacBook's older score. So we've got 8,423 pretty damn good score better than I got last the first time I tested it actually um, you can see that we've got eight threads since it supports hyper threading or whatever you call it I don't really know I don't really know what any of this stuff means actually but I know that it means my computer is fast so <laughs> all right so we'll go ahead and submit this And we will log in. All right, so then I can go over to my account and I can see if you compare it to my MacBook, which was 2.16, two core processor, it's about, uh, well, about two and a half times faster than my old machine. Not to mention, this has. The better, um, the better graphics card in it, and my old MacBook actually had an integrated card, so I couldn't really do anything in terms of graphics on it. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the difference between my old machine and my new machine. Um, Tyler's gonna send me over. Tyler did the same kind of thing, and he's gonna send that over to me. He has the same, he has the twenty seven inch iMac as well except that he got the i5 version, so we're going to have a little bit of difference for you guys to see what the real difference is between the i7 and the i5 uh, in terms of just overall performance. Hey guys, I'm back and Tyler sent me over uh, the Geekbench 64-bit version because um, he also did that on his, version, on his recording, so we're going to go ahead and run a 64-bit version as well because it'll be faster. Uh, I, one thing I forgot to mention is I also upgraded to the 8 gigs of RAM in my machine, in my new machine, I mean. So I'm sure that that will, that also affects my speed and stuff. So we'll go ahead and run this. Uh, last time I ran this, I got like 9600 or something crazy, ridiculous like that. So um, when you're running the 64-bit version, generally what me and Tyler have found is we get about 1500, anywhere between 1500 and 1600 um, points better. So, yeah, as you can see, it's quite a big difference between the 64 bit version and the and the 32 bit version. Um, again, I have no idea what all this means. Tyler explained it in his video. But, yeah, I'm getting almost 10,000. Hey guys, it's Vincent. Um, so I was just editing Back. a little bit. <laughs> I was just editing a little bit, and I, Tyler sent me his whole thing, and let me just say, it took us forever to get this clip onto my computer, so you be, be, better be damn happy that oh. I'm uploading this. I mean, you can hear him being a little bit annoying because he's a little bit upset about it, because it was his fault the entire time. Anywho's. Um, here is this clip. You guys are going to see it in about two seconds, but I'm just going to make fun of him because his video is the complete foil, which is a fancy word for opposite, of my video. And he's very professional and he just kind of looks like, like, this is what I imagine he looked like. Hello guys, my name is Tyler Johnson and today I'm going to be running some Geekbench stats before you today. I'm going to explain about the algorithms and shit and blah blah blah, and that's it. So, I'm just, I'm really sorry if Tyler bores you guys, but let's just cut to the clip. 
Hello, my name is Tyler Johnson and I'm the lead designer and developer at Polish Creative. Today I'm going to be running some benchmark tests on my new iMac uh, 27 inch with the Intel Core i5 processor. Um, and let me just start these here. What this is going to do is it's going to run several uh, complex, complex tests uh, on all the major systems within my computer, uh, mainly the processor. Uh, a lot of high algorithms, mathematical equations and such like that, really just to you know, max out my processor, uh, as you can see with iStat menus here. Um, and, you know, this test received a score of 7,500, um, which is pretty good. Uh, and, you know, that test, you know, was run on a 64-bit mode. Um, I received a much lower score when I ran it on 32-bit. Uh, let me just submit it here. Um, and as you can see, they have a lot of graphs here just to show you visually what this does, but uh, it's mainly testing the speed on... Um, a lot of a lot of the major system components. Um, and if I go into my account here, I can also see one of my older um, computers, uh, mainly my MacBook Pro here. Just take the highest score, uh, 2791, which is a lot lower than the 7500 that uh, this computer received. Um, now this computer, the MacBook Pro that I was working on before, um, is about three years old. I also ran it in 32-bit mode. Um, but even still, you can see that it received a much lower score.